tell me, tell me who you turned on the TV and watched who was taking over games. And it was DeMar DeRozan. I thought that's a little bit ridiculous. Jokic is obviously my MVP and rightfully so, because in my mind, Jokic is obviously the best offensive player in the game. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sports Number is Aiden. I'm Darius is Aiden, and welcome back to the show. Today, guys, we have a very, very special episode, and we are reacting to the latest news revolving the NBA as Nicole Jokic has been announced as the NBA MVP. Yet again, Aiden, Nicole Jokic is back-to-back MVPs, um, one of the only few players in NBA history to do it. And the Aiden, this has been four straight years of a foreign player winning the NBA MVP award. You know, Giannis won it back to back in 2019, 2020, and Nicole Jokic of the Denver Nuggets doing it again in 2021 and 2022. So Aiden, what are we what is your reaction to this, Aiden? It was was it was a very, very close race between Giannis and Bede and the Joker, but Aiden Joker proved that he was carrying this Nuggets team all season long without Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. So Aiden, what are your in what is your initial reaction to this news? Right. Right. I think this is a prime example of how the MVP is a regular season award. If this took into factor the postseason, I think it would have probably been Giannis again. If this were to take into the postseason. Or Joel. No, no, never mind. Scratch that. No, no, no. I think they would have went Joel. It's a better storyline. The Toronto that's beat Toronto, got his revenge, blah, 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 blah. NBA is obsessed with storylines. Probably would have been Joel. Very close race. In fact, if Joel hadn't got hurt, I can and miss miss that small stretch. I can guarantee you that he would be the MVP. Guarantee you. The reason Nikola Jokic is the MVP is because simply there has been a lack of star play and staying healthy from the prime superstars in this league. And with Nikola Jokic being back to back MVPs, we have to put him in the top five player in the world discussion and we'll discuss whether what ranking he is because he's not number five he's not we owe we owe him that respect enough he is not number five i think that we are seeing kind of the resurgence of this new age big man the big man that can pass shoot and facilitate again the big man was falling down being a little more obsolete in today's day and age it was more focused on the guard play on the scoring, on the shooting. But I think once the big man truly developed their game into more than just backing up in the post, I think this is where we tr- where they truly found their new way. I think that this is an amazing, amazing look for the NBA, showing that at any position, at any level, you can most definitely be a top-tier player in this league. And I think Nicole Yoka showed us a lot this year. The fact that he could carry a team I think he damn near played every game without Jamal Murray for an entire season. And when Michael Porter Jr. was on the court, he didn't play. He played like hot garbage. I think this, this, we really should tip our hats next to Nikola Jokic. I think we can put him in that discussion for top three, top three players in the world right now. Cause I think LeBron is out of that discussion. I think Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak is the best player in the world. I think Nicole Jokic has an argument for the top three. I think Kevin Durant has an argument for the top three. I think Steph Curry has a discussion to be in that two or that one spot. I think LeBron James has fallen a little behind in that race as far as everything is considered. And I think that we can make a, a – and I think this is car, starting to be the reordering of the NBA. And I may get a lot of criticism for this, but Nicole Jokic is this heiress Magic Johnson. And that's with no disrespect, though. Um, I wholeheartedly believe that. I believe you look at the comparison between Jokic and Magic, two very similar play styles. I believe Jokic is a unicorn. There is no other player in the league that is like him. And he absolutely deserved this award. And we want to talk about a storyline. 
here's the storyline. He entered this season with his number two option out for the season, the same number two option that averaged 21.2 points per game last season, and we saw what he did in the bubble, dominate every single game. He also had his third option on his team. Michael Porter Jr., I believe, averaged 9.9 points per game, and I believe nine games in the season and missed the rest of the season due to an injury. And we saw the roster he was playing with. We saw he was playing with, with guys like Monte Morris and, you know, in and, and Jeb Green, 35-year-old Jeb Green in the starting lineup. And let's give one thing straight. People say Embiid or Giannis deserve this award. But first off, it is a regular season award, number one. Right. Number two, it is an right. individual accomplishment. And number three, even though they make the excuse that nobody just got bounced out the first time, he was literally facing arguably the best team in the NBA with the greatest, with arguably, I think it's I think it's without the, without a question. Now that we've seen how the Suns have been playing, I think it's without the, without question that this Golden State Warriors team is the best team and the most and the most complete team in the entire NBA. With an argument from the Miami. All right, but um, j- just looking at how Jokic has been incredible all season long. You look at his numbers. You look at the way he's performed game in and game out. He played more games than Yogi, I believe, that, excuse me, than Giannis and Embiid. He averaged better overall numbers, even though Embiid had the league in scoring. Jokic, everything down the line when it came to playmaking and just overall contribution to their team, Jokic statistically was the better player with a far worse roster. MVP, most valuable player. You take Giannis off of the Bucks. I believe the Bucks still have a chance to be a playoff contender in the Eastern Conference. You take Embiid off of the Sixers, they still have James Hart. You take Jokic off of the Denver Nuggets, they are in the lottery and they're probably going to get the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Now, in the early portion of the season, for the majority of the season, I did have Embiid as my MVP. But I believe the whole narrative changed. Of course, you know, he got injured for a little bit, missed a stretch of games. But also, I believe that narrative went out the window that he was the MVP when they acquired James Hart. When you have a reliable, a phenomenal scorer at that, a former MVP, one of the greatest two guards and one of the greatest scorers ever played the game of basketball, I believe when we use the word valuable, even though he left the league in the – although he although we left the league in points of the game – I believe you look at that roster between Tyreek Maxey and James Hearn, you know, Tobias Harris and Danny Green, you know, you have a solid roster. So I believe that throws the whole near draft out the window. Of course, we all know, we all know Giannis had Chris Milton, Drew Holiday. They combined for, I believe, 40 points per game throughout the regular season. So we know his, you know, contributing pieces. But in Yogi's favor, we saw what he was working with, and he still dominated game and he came out. So by the end of the day, Jokic deserved this MVP. And I look at the list of some of the players that won one MVP. They brought it up on uh, on the internet today, you know. But, you know, of course, Jokic is not as great as, you know, guys who have won one MVP, you know, yet. But Jokic definitely deserves a spot as one of the greatest. You look at some of the greatest big men or some of the greatest international players to play in the NBA. Jokic is definitely in that conversation. So is Giannis. Those two players have trained. So is Embiid. Those two players, Wait, international again. players. Giannis, the greatest players. player, best player on the planet. I'm going to say it again. Giannis, best player on the planet. I agree with that. But uh, look at the way Embiid, Giannis, Embiid, three international players have transformed the game of basketball in the way it's played today. All three of those guys deserve their props, but at the end of the day, based off what we saw in the NBA regular season this year, regular season, Jokic deserved this MVP more than anybody else, and he deserves his props. He can, he deserves um, all all the gratitude and all the congratulations that you can get. So, congrats, to Jokic. Props to him, even though his season did not end the way he probably wanted it to end. Um, as far as what he did individually on the court. There's absolutely no doubt that he bought out this season. And so did the under candidates, but Jokic deserved it the most. So, Aiden, do you have any more words? I think I said all that need to be said. So, with that being said, guys, if you have 
um, enjoy this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment down below. Give your thoughts on whether or not you should have won MVP or not. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We are less than 70 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. A big milestone for this channel, so we really appreciate it if you sub to the channel. And also, make sure to go to post your favorite video in it from channel. Until then, guys, this is for Saturdays. Aiden, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm Darius, and that's Aiden. And make sure to see us on the next episode, guys. Until then, peace.